Zone. Dan, I was excited this morning. I woke up, saw that just light dusting of snow. Yeah, it was almost perfect because it didn't cause any problems. No. One of the few times we can say that here in the Mid-State that either between the snow and the sleet, no issues. Nobody had to be at school, mm -hmm. and it seems like everybody got around A-OK -okay in the morning. So that's good. And again, snow lovers, you got a little taste. Can there be a little <laughs> more coming our way later this week? Here's a live view from Chambersburg. And again, anything that fell in terms of snow likely mixed with rain the farther south you went here today. And Chambersburg, one of those areas that definitely saw more of a wintry mix rather than just plain snow. Lewistown, the wind's beginning to pick up and the visibility is a little better here. So this is a sign of the cold air moving back in for later tonight and into tomorrow. And today we actually had warm air try to stream in. So believe it or not, even as it precipitates outside, whether it's that rain or snow mix, there is warm air that tries to move in at the same time. The surface temperatures, though, did stay above freezing because of that warm air. That was the good news. Highs near 38 degrees, and that's roughly where we are right now. Again, the air is saturated, so temperatures not changing much. 40 degrees for York and for Lancaster. Low to mid 30s starting to pop up in some places across the mid-state, but I think it's going to take some time, and we have a lot of fog to deal with here overnight. Until the winds begin to pick up later tonight, that fog is in place and some of those valleys it may take a while for that fog to really dissipate. In the meantime, the big area of cold air wasn't quite in place in time for us to see much in the way of snow, but it certainly is for parts of interior New England where snow is moving up toward the Boston area, up through Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. And we're not talking about a foot of snow, but a few inches of snow to kind of kick off the winter season for those folks. For us locally, again, things just not lining up for us in terms of the cold and snow together. So that storm's well on its way. Tomorrow, we're just dealing with chill and not a whole lot going on. Not a whole lot of sunshine either. Tomorrow features periods of clouds rolling in from the north. That's about it. Tuesday, some clearing, but Wednesday, clouds begin to increase ahead of our next storm system. And this one's been getting a lot of buzz, a lot of mentions on social media because at one point, it looked like the cold air would be here in time and the storm track would allow for snow. But watch this. This is the latest European model coming in. It looks more or less like it could start as some periods of sleet and rain together before transitioning all terrain during the day on Thursday. If these trends hold. Again, this may mainly be a cold rain for us. More snow, though, to the north and northeast once again. So you have any travel plans by the end of the week heading north or northeast? Keep that in mind. But for us locally, we may start briefly as snow and as sleet for a couple of hours, but then transitioning to some heavier periods of rain, possibly. Temperatures near 40 degrees. Again, not quite cold enough for snow. And until those clouds move in late Wednesday into Thursday, our weather's pretty quiet through the middle part of the week. But again, that is the highlight. That that is the big storm system to watch and then hopefully drier by the weekend. Nick, let's send it over to you.